It's always an adventure at one of my workshops. Nothing's ever the same. And we show you what it's like to really be a photographer in the real world. In the real world, you can't stop shooting when it rains. Canceled shoots, rescheduled shoots means lost revenue. If I reschedule a shoot for another day, what does that mean? I, have th I don't have that other day to schedule more shoots or to edit or to market my business. So finding ways to get out there and shoot no matter what the conditions are makes you a profitable photographer. So we're showing you guys how we do a shoot in the rain, old school style. So we put a reflector on top of the rental car. Found some hazard cones to weigh the reflector down so we can keep the light dry and just get the modifier wet. So we have put a plastic bag from the deli. Thank you for shopping here. And we're gonna share some shots with you. Peace. We're gonna get some good shots. We got the little umbrella. This is the first fall outfit. Well bam, got the boots, ripped jeans. We're gonna have some fun. Do you want to tell them who you are? My name is Savannah, and I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, and now I live in good old New York City. She's so cute. She's like, New York. Yeah, she was. I like the knee pop. You killed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was adorable. She's very energetic. Yeah, yeah. She knew how to work it. Just here in New York doing a two on one with these guys. You may gonna have to turn you, though. Unfortunately, a little too much shadow. Look at me, Savannah. Oh, right now are nuts. That's fantastic. These are great, dude. These are the Nikon Z7, too. Z6. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at them apples. But you see my point? Like there's yeah. always there's always a way to get shots. Right, right. Just photographers need to get out of that mindset that they cannot um, that they can't shoot in certain situations. You can shoot in any situation if you know what you're doing. Yeah. By the way, when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing if there's any water pulling at this. That's what concerns me if there, if there is, so that's what I keep checking. Beautiful, great job. I want you guys to try to practice that. Yeah. That's pretty difficult. Yeah. So you're gonna, you, if you watch me, you're going to be manually focusing the front of the lens. Just to, just to keep your gear safe when you are doing this, do a system check on the uh, on it. Yeah, there's no water there. There's no water here, but <gasps> you want to make sure there's no water pooling on the inside where the the bulb is. So far, we seem we seem dry. Because eventually, just like anything, with this getting as saturated as it is, it'll, it'll start to it'll start to uh, penetrate. Not just for lighting purposes, but for the sake of keeping the light safe, this has to be at an angle. I've watched people try this and they've, they've kept it even or even tilted up. The water's just rolling right into it. And as crazy as it sounds, when it is raining, it's a Godox, it will overheat. So um, if you completely block off this vents and tie it up, I've watched people get uh, big, huge like Ziploc bags and or they'll just tie the ends of it and believe it or not, it overheats. It can't breathe, it needs to breathe. So even though we have a bag over it, we're still you know letting ventilation get in. If we were to try to capture raindrops, capturing it in this center section where um, there's a lot of light isn't really going to work very well. Even if you look at, just use your, guys, use your own eyes as a gauge. It's very difficult for you to see, for us to see the raindrops in front of the house. When you look where the black part is, obviously it's better contrast, you can see it. So if we wanted to try to capture it, it'd be in some of these areas where it's darker. And we're gonna work on that in a little bit. Hey Rob, come drink this. 
drink this. What did you uh, <laughs> I would have. Oh, of course, you had her. Unbelievable. She is. We've changed the setup a little bit now. It's not raining as hard. But we do have some water here coming down. We have the 8200 wrapped up inside of the, the plastic bag. Um, the honeycomb on it with the barn doors because we're trying to mitigate the amount of light that goes on the ground with our model. Put your hand in your pocket, Rob. Shoot like a man. There we go. So um, here's our model, Miss Savannah. And we put the 600 under okay. I already know. the patio to protect it. But really, guys, there are ways to uh, Mm -hmm. Get shots in the rain, you just have to be creative. Here we go. One, two, three. Gorgeous, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, bro. All because of you. All because of this guy right here. Making it easy. I think I should dial that down a bit more. Let me see. All right, so Rob, that, yes, what, what does he need to do with the backlight? Where does yeah. that need to go? That backlight needs to go backwards. Good. Yeah, problem it's solving. On the wall, right? Yep, and it's also causing lens flare. So problem solving, fixing these issues. Now, this is so beneficial to be able to work with two lights and Play with them. Be able to move yes. stuff around and, yeah. and learn. Oh. So we just wrapped up a two, those two, with me, one. If you count her, it's really two to two. And then Savannah's just right there with us, helping everybody. So, wrapped up this workshop. Um, thank you, Miss Emmy, for all your help. You're welcome, thank you. Thank you, Miss Emmy. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> How would you describe the experience, Anand? Fantastic. The second workshop, and this is just the second of many. I, you know, I just appreciated everything that uh, Emmy and Jason uh, helped us with. Take your time, uh, even you know, working with the subject, posing her. Don't rush into just shooting. You can actually put your camera aside, focus on what you want to get, and then start. Being able to learn more of the technical stuff for me was amazing. Um, not just come and take some shots, but actually learn how to work the lights, how to adjust the lights, how to use more than one light, how to use multiple different lights with one illuminator. That was amazing and to uh, just, just learn. And, and every time I'm with you guys, this is my fifth state with you wow. guys. Um, just, it's been, uh, it's, been, it's been a trip. And basically learning one-on-one -on -one was phenomenal. It was epic. I tried to really take you guys through a lot of stuff that I wish I'd learned or someone had shown me when I was a newer photographer rather than skipping those steps, which makes it difficult. When you go to a workshop and everything's set up, lights are set up, models are set up, it's, it, that setup part is the hard part. Absolutely. We have two awesome, really great guys. So glad to have them. We've had fantastic models the whole time. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. And I think one of my favorite parts, you mentioned you wanted to do a video on this, was uh, um, showing how the image changes when you add all those layers of diffusion. diffusion. Like on those little 8200s, because that's what, hey, that's what a lot of, a lot of people have. Yep. So sitting there and saying, hey, what happens you know, when I, when I put this on and when I add more and when I add one more and, and really being able to show and break that down and it was really good. It was nice uh, control and good comparative. And how was your experience, Miss Savannah? It was great. I know you guys definitely learned a lot and you took it in and you're gonna you know, keep it with you for the rest of your lives. And you guys are all awesome. You have a lot to learn from and 
You guys are awesome. <laughs> well, thank Thanks. you for being here. Yes. My Instagram is underscore queen dot sav underscore, and that is underscore queen dot sav underscore. That's me. Emmy? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at em.explores. You guys want to pimp yourselves? Sure. <laughs> I'm uh, at spot a shot photos. What? Spot a shot photos. You know, like the Dalmatian? At AMS Photographia. That's F O T O G R A F I A 111. He doesn't believe in the PHs. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much, guys, for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. Just a quick snapshot into how we do the, the workshops. Stop. So until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. You only got one chance to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Find the right gear that works for you. I know, I, I was an asshole. <laughs> Do you remember how we end the videos on them? Yes. And remember, you just get one shot, one chance to get it right. <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. That was, that was cut. Take two. Take two. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace. Bye. All right, let's get out of here. Great job, guys. Great job. Yeah.